Alright, uh. Hi, uh, this is, um. A documentary I am making. Uh. That. Uh, I have been in my uh, studies. I don't know. How to this. Um, uh, I have been given a class assignment of documenting the origins of the jack o' lantern, and I just here we go. When we think of jack-o'-lanterns today, we think of the carved pumpkins with candles lighting lighting them brightly from within. But did you know that jack-o'-lantern actually has deep historical roots and originally didn't even involve a pumpkin? The jack-o'-lantern stems from an old Irish myth about a man named Stingy Jack. Uh, oh shit, advertisement. If you examine this, the It's a chain letter email. Uh, I don't believe in those. Hello? Hello? Well, there's seriously something fucking going on. Is anybody here? I'm gonna call the cops. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, no. Stingy Jack. According to the story, Stingy Jack, an Irish blacksmith and notorious drunk, had the great misfortune to run into the devil in a pub. Jack invited the devil to have a drink with him. True to his name, Stingy Jack didn't want to pay for this, his drink. 
So he convinced the devil to turn himself into a sixpence that Jack could use to buy their drinks in exchange for Jack's soul. Once the devil did so, Jack decided to keep the money and put it in his pocket next to a silver cross, which prevented the devil from changing back into his original form. Jack eventually freed the devil under the condition that he would not bother Jack and not try to reclaim his soul for ten years. When the ten years had passed, Jack ran into the devil as he walked down a country road. The devil was anxious to claim what was due, but, but Jack stalled. Jack thought quickly and said to the devil, I'll go, but before I go, will you get me an apple from that tree? The devil, thinking he had nothing to lose, climbed the tree as Jack pointed to the choicest apple. Perturbed? Perturbed. The devil climbed high into the tree after the apple Jack selected. When he was high up in the tree, Jack carved the sign of a cross of the cross into the tree's bark so that the devil could not come down. Jack, very proud of himself, made the devil promise to never ask him again for his soul. Seeing no other chance, no other choice, the devil reluctantly agreed. Uh, soon after Jack died, as the legend goes, God would not allow such an unsavory figure into heaven. The devil, upset by the trick Jack had played on him and keeping his word not to claim his soul, would not allow Jack into hell. Being unable to go to heaven or to hell, Jack asked the devil where he should go. The devil only replied, back where you came from. The Hello?